month I get partner. Yeah, we're at an average viewership of 69.17. I need to get that up to 75 viewers average uh, by the end of the month, and then I can apply for partner. So if you guys are willing to help me out with that, just show up to every stream. Even if you're not watching, if you just want to lurk to show support, I'd appreciate that. All right, looks like 327 Faye would like to be added. All right. Let's get this one going. As we go with uh, all reliable. I mean, you could call this one all reliable as well, but it's it's less fun to use now that the Solgaleo team exists, and I feel bad using it because it's freaking <laughs> It's Zygarde, and it takes forever. Yeah, if you do lurk, don't mute the stream, because it doesn't count as a viewer, then. However, workaround, you can mute the tab, and it does the same. It, 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 it still counts it. Remember when you tried to get partner last year and the year before, but just gave up? Yes, but I finally have, like, a solid schedule that's been working. So I feel confident I can do it. As we face a Kyogre and a Crosby Dusk main team with a Rain and an Entei, probably just Bulldoze Entei, uh, I am going to get a lot of value out of my Incineroar this game as well as my Torkoal. Torkoal is going to go crazy. Okay, uh, let me think. Hmm, tinking. Tinking hard. Tinking very hard. Let's go with... Uh, Obviously, Mimikyu is a little bit scared of everything that it's looking at. I'm gonna go Mimikol. I'm gonna bring Galio, Palkia. He's got bulkier Garfield. Yes, this is true. He's got Garfield lasagna mode. That's like lasagna eating. Like, that's lasagna cookware and stuff that he's wearing on his body. There we go. Garfield hangry mode, yeah. <laughs> you have Garfield, he has Gorefield. Oh no. Terrifying. Okay. I want to say that my opponent is likely just going to go for a Sunsteel Strike onto the Mimikyu for the one-shot. Let's go ahead and get in my Solgaleo here. And I'm going to go for a Yawn. Because that covers my bases pretty well. I don't think they're going to double the Torkoal. I think that they don't want me to get off Trick Room because... I don't know. <laughs> Trick Room's scary. <laughs> I guess they do better under Trick Room, but they probably want to make sure Mimikyu can't burn them. I will say, for a mo if, if this play doesn't make 100% sense, it's because for a minute I thought Necrozma had a clear body or full metal body like my Solgaleo does. Uh, but that, that is wrong, so hopefully this works out anyways. Okay, if I get this yawn off, I feel very good about winning this game. Garfield sicko mode, exactly. Exactly. Uh, did you, uh, hello? Why did you Dynamax, sir? What business do you have? That is a max bulldoze. So Galio eats it, but like, oh. All right, I'm probably just going to get Steel Spiked. I mean, I got my policy off, but it's not like it's that good. Or not Steel Spiked, uh, Sun Steel Striked. Yep. Uh, I'm not in a terrible position, mainly because Palkia as a Dynamax target still isn't that bad.
Okay. So, change of plans. I'm not setting up Trick Room. <laughs> change of plans. So I want to say here, uh, my opponent is likely going to get the Necrozma off the field. I'd like to max Wormwind here, and uh, I'm going to go into my Mimi. They stay on the field, okay. How am I doing Series 12 viewer battles? You can download the rule set uh, as soon as it's announced. So, like, you can just battle people 1v1. Or you can, like, directly challenge people to Series 12. Why is Sicko Mode the Bohemian Rhapsody of Rap? Get on my stream. I'm kidding. <laughs> it's not untrue, but it, it's, it's funny, you know? Okay, uh, I am gonna I, I am gonna set up Trick Room next turn. I think if they uh, end up doubling Palkia, yeah. This is gonna lower the attack stat on the Yente. Not many things can do that, but Max Wormwind is one of the things that can. So that's pretty nice. Also, Necrozma is now asleep, so I can set up my Trick Room and just Max Wormwind again. <clears throat> I have to be careful. I only have so many of these. There's the Quake. Probably into Mimikyu. Yep. Alright. I still haven't PP maxed them? No, I haven't. I'm lazy. I have I have other things to do during the day. <laughs> Alright, what's nice is I can go into my I can go into my Torkoal pretty safely here. I don't mind using three max worm wins here. I'm ashamed that real life got in the way of my gaming. Okay. Uh, Necrozma could wake up here, and that's what I'm kind of scared of. I'm going to max Wormwind this Entei to get it off the field, and I am going to go right into Torkoal. Because three max Wormwinds, that means the Necrozma's at minus one now. Uh, I'd prefer just no spoilers for Legends Arceus in my chat in case someone just does really doesn't want to hear it. Okay, we got rid of that. That's great. The crowd was fast asleep. I could have... Eh, there wasn't really anything I could have done there. Uh, I have to be careful here, because Kyogre still exists, and it's very scary. Very, very scary indeed. Are your Solgaleo EVs public? They are. They're in a... They're in the Discord. I just put them in the Discord. I, I'm usually very bad about updating that. Alright, do you guys want to see an epic gaming play? I'm going to go for both the Hydro Pump and the Eruption. Epic gaming play. Why does nobody run Thunder on Palkia? It's an easy Oko on Kyogre. Uh, it's mainly because when you're running Palkia, you already wall out Kyogre, so you typically want to just make sure you have a better matchup versus Zacian. So if you do end up running something that um, is like a coverage move, it would end up being Earth Power. Alright, that did 
little under half. There's the policy, so it's going to be at effectively minus one. I forgot that it never went off. I miss because I never land these. What tab on Discord? Uh, Moxie Team Library is the tab. Yeah, that just, that just bounces off. Augers. And the harsh sunlight's gone, so now I can really start doing damage. With my Palkia, of course. Not not this thing. This thing's bad. Um, ooh, this is actually kind of rough. How many turns of Trick Room are left? We got two turns left of Trick Room. I think they're just going to Helping Hand or Expanding Force or something. So I'm actually willing to get Palkia off the field for a moment. To get him Mimikyu. I'm going to try to Yawn again. Yeah, I figured. So I get this yawn off. Mimikyu goes down, but that's fine. I have protect on both of my Pokemon. The only thing is this Kyogre endgame is going to be real rough. Um, Heat Wave should go first, but not ideal, you know? Eruption's still technically stronger. So I guess I can go for it. That did, like, nothing. <laughs> yeah, I lose to Kyogre now. Oh, I get a... That wasn't a crit? What? Alright, good game. That turn one Max Quake definitely got me. Like, losing Solgaleo that early was, like, so bad for my, for, like, any of my win conditions. Alright. Good game. So, unfortunately, uh, Garfield Lasagna mode ended up beating out regular Garfield, which is to be expected. I mean, Lasagna does provide Garfield with, like, plus two in both of its defenses, so. Uh, I just... Dang it, Dr. Director, I'm so used to seeing you in the chat and stuff that now I have to remember that you're not a new person, that you are Dr. Director, but you are now Maya Space. Which is a phenomenal name, by the way, Maya Space. Thanks for enjoying the GIF. Thank you for making the GIF. You know what I'm going to do? Every time I don't want to show my face on stream, I can just put the GIF on it. Like, literally, I could do this. I could be like, hey, guys, we're going to do a face cam stream. Um, here. I literally just do this. Hold on. There we go. Oh, wait, no? Like that. Good enough. Obviously, it's not centered, but yeah. That is that is our new face cam covering tool. Other than just turning off the face cam. The poem was too clean uh, for a soon to be just chatting streamer. What just chatting topics will you be covering? I already know for a fact that that Rillaboom wanted to Dynamax on my Mimikyu, but it's not gonna get to. It's not gonna get to do that. Uh, let me go ahead and try to trick room. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to get it off because um, I'm going to get faked out. But you know what I can do instead? Beep. <laughs> I'm not going to bother with the fake out. Unless it's Sing Clefairy, I'm happy with this turn. You know, last time I said that, I spoke it into existence, and now I'm actually terrified I might have just done it again. And especially since we're facing Ken's, I think that that's like a real possibility here. 
Alright, there's the Rillaboom switching out. Poor little Rillaboom switching out again. Alright, let's see if it's Sing. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Don't do it. Okay, protected. I don't think that's Sing. I don't think it is. I hope. However, as stated previously, this team has a real rough Incineroar matchup. I can pretty much max Steel Spike into that Clefairy for like no downside whatsoever. However, I'm going to play it a little bit more carefully than that. Let's get in the Palkia here. And I am going to Parting Shot on the Incineroar to get my Solgaleo in on the next side of the field, right next to it. Because for all I know, I'm about to get like Choice Banded Flare Blitzed or Dynamaxed on. Yo, Maya Space, that's pretty based. U-turn, okay. Okay, all right. I'm picking up what you're putting down. And what you're putting down is disgusting. Pick it up. <laughs> all right, I think I actually played this, like, perfectly. Because they can't prevent just absurd damage coming off into their uh, Eternatus. It should be a one-shot with uh, Spatial... Ah, spacious Rend. Spatial Rend. Um... I should just one-shot two Pokemon in this turn, in fact. So I'm going to Spatial Rend you, hopefully not miss, and I'm going to go for a Max Steel Spike on the Clefairy, because even if the, the Incineroar comes in, I, I don't care. I don't care. I think it's, it's dumb. Incineroar is dumb and stupid and dumb. As nothing switches, which means... I'm a genius. <laughs> I'm not. Yeah, uh, Magster, Palkia is actually phenomenal this gen, or this this format. It's it's great. I'm gonna get Helping Hand Dynamax Cannon, and I am not gonna be happy about it. Follow me. That's great. Just one shot. I think this one shots. I hope it one shots. If it doesn't, I'm gonna cry and pee my pants on stream. I was ready to say, you know the drill. <laughs> For a second, it looked like it wasn't going to one-shot. Alright, don't be a salt vest. Chia kazing. Okay, awesome. I think I win. However... There is a non-zero chance we don't see a Dynamax Incineroar. And if there's a Zacian, there's a 100% chance we see a Dynamax Incineroar. Rillaboom? Oh, wait. No, we already saw the Rillaboom. Dang it. Now I'm sad. <laughs> now I'm legitimately upset we didn't get to see the Dynamax Incineroar. Can him on top of Mian Xiao work in Series 12? I, I think as a rule of thumb, Mian Xiao and Hitmontop are always going to be viable. Whether or not they're, like, great is 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 up to, like, how the format sort of shapes itself. But I will say they're always going to be viable. You can always make them work. Especially Mian Xiao. Like, they literally have everything you need. Like, Mian Xiao is unflinchable, unintimidatable, and has Fake Out. And Hitmontop has Fake Out, Wide Guard, Faint, and Intimidate. Like, it's got everything it needs. So if those two are your favorite Pokemon of all time, congratulations. You'll never have to worry about them being good. Or you could be like me, where your favorite Pokemon are like Golisopod, Thievul, and Honchkar, and you're just forced to suffer. Alright, that's a Rillaboom. Hello, Rillaboom. Rillaboom. 
Rillaboom is like good for the explicit purpose of one-shotting Mimikyu. Your favorite Pokemon's Nuzleaf. Does Nuzleaf have Chlorophyll? What what are Nuzleaf's abilities? I'll give you an idea. I'll give you an idea as to how you could probably make Nuzleaf work. Not great, but like it'll work. Are you doing viewer battles or just ladder? I'm doing viewer battles right now, but my streams tend to end at like 7.30, so I'm only going to have time for one more battle after this. Dude, no. All right, listen. Hawkeye Gaming or Shock... Shocky Gaming, I think that's how it's pronounced. Literally, Pukamuku is one of the most underdeveloped Pokemon ever. Here's what you're going to do. Find a Zacian and make it suffer. <laughs> Zacian just gets completely walled by Pukamuku because it has unaware. If you're wondering what I'm doing opening up Pokemon Showdown mid-battle, I'm trying to find a way to use Nuzleaf. Get off my back. It can't be that hard. Oh, no. I already see it. Alright, I already know what we're going to do here. Alright, Sash. Orphil. Fake out. It doesn't get knock off. We'll, we'll come back to that in a second. I think we still have a turn Trick Room, right? Oh, Trick Room just ended. Uh, I don't care. Yeah, no, this should still be fun. Max Flutterby, eat it up. Thank you, Incineroar. Nice. It doesn't get taunt. That's such a freaking lame thing to know now. Oh, Darkest Lariat. I haven't seen Darkest Lariat like at all this season. Okay, I figured it out. There, there is a viable Nuzleaf set. And it's about as viable as Nuzleaf can get, because it, it's not viable. I was going to say that, it's, it's just not. Okay. So I should just win by Hydro Pumping and Earthquaking. Yeah, it's uh, like, if you, want, if you want a Nuzleaf to be good, you make it support. If you want anything to be good, you make it support. All right, good games, Kens. Yo, Ditto's never bad, though. Like, especially in Restricted, Ditto's not bad. It's because Ditto isn't a Pokemon. It's a concept. A bit with um, trying to apply for partnership. I think we're actually going to get it. And by the way, tomorrow is Wednesday. I don't stream on Wednesday, but I'm going to be back on Thursday night and Friday. So we do Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. And this is terrifying. Uh, I'm really scared of the tornadoes or the thunderous. I want to lead off Incineroar, but I know it's not great because of that. Um, I kind of have to, don't I? Ooh, don't one shot me. <laughs> okay, let's try it. Uh, the latter tour is on Thursday, Dragon or Jordan. Yeah, you can give anything Arena Trap or a Trapping ability and it's going to work. Like, literally, we have seen... We have seen Trap Hinch do good at regional levels. Specifically, uh, Collinsville 2019, I believe. 
I think it was Hitmon Hitmon Chan ran it. Gary Chan. We did it! We got the trick room off. <laughs> That's how it works. Um Unless, of course. Unless, of course. They Dynamax the Whimsicott. Actually, no, we always get it off. We don't even have to worry about that. Uh, let me Snarl. And Trick Room. If they reverse the Trick Room on me, they still got Snarled. And remember, we have faced <laughs> a reverse Trick Room in Calyrex, so it's, it's not off the table that that happens. Switcheroo? Huh. <gasps> They got me with the old switcheroo. I think that's fine though. I still get I still get this off. Actually, does that count? You might be thinking, Marcos, you just got switcherooed and your trick room got denied. Wrong. I just got a free switch into whatever Pokemon I want. That's the that's the <laughs> that's the Mimi Male grind set attitude. The Mimi Mail grind set attitude is one that recognizes that all that happened there is I got a free switch. Observe. No! <laughs> okay, um... The Mimi Mail grind set is dead. It's a myth. It never happened. The Mimi Mail grind set's fake. I'm sorry but you all needed to hear it. Unless... <laughs> unless... Unless... Uh, I just attack it, you know? I, I just go for it. So missing that Snarl was pretty bad. Truth be told, that was pretty bad for me. I really wish I got that Snarl off. <laughs> that was so sad. I mean, I'm, I guarantee you I live this hit. It's just going to be a real rough uphill battle now. Okay, go ahead and hit me. Ow. Ow. <laughs> that hurt. Uh, I get a defense drop, but no, I don't. That's my favorite part about Solgaleo. You got a defense drop. No, you didn't. Moonblast? I'm pretty sure I just KO'd this thing. I'm pretty sure I'm like not even in a bad spot here. Okay, now land the Snarl. You can do it. Don't miss again, or I'm going to put you in the forever box. Thank you. Thank you, Incineroar. You, you, really, you really carried your weight there. I almost had to put him in the forever box. Zacian. Okay. Question. How scary is Zacian? Answer. It isn't. Why? I said so. Behold. This is why I use Throat Chop, it's, uh, even though Snarl is better. Throat Chop's kind of good for some situations. I think Throat Chop hit peak relevance in 2019 when people were using Roar and Cinero to beat uh, Xerneas. That was probably when it reached peak relevance. That's fine. That's fine. I don't even care. If thro yeah, Throat Chop blocks Yawn, which is absurd. Here's the thing. Yawn isn't a sound-based move, which implies that Yawn is a physical thing that happens. When the other Pokemon 
gets hit by Yawn, it is breathing like some kind of vape that the Torkoal spits at it. It is literally like inhaling saliva, which is disgusting. I pointed this out multiple times because it just weirds me out. Yawn is a physical object and not a sound. Anyways, here's Mimikyu. Alright, uh, what's in the back? There is zero reason for me not to max steel spike this Zacian. I believe. I hope. Is that true? Is that is that even true? Yeah, in case there's a Thunderous, I should always steel spike. It KOs anyways. Oh god, don't be Thunderous. Okay, it's Venusaur. That's fine. We're goggles on our Incineroar, so if they don't KO the, the Incineroar here, we're fine. Behemoth Blade, that should kind of just bounce off of us at minus one. Well, bounce off of, of us about as much as any move bounces off when Zacian uses it. Which is not much. Okay. Um, we basically just have to get rid of this Venusaur and we're fine. Earth power could hurt. But that's about all it has for... Um, for beating us. Actually, I think I always target the Whimsicott here just to get it off the field so it's no longer annoying. Yeah, I'm going to target the Whimsicott. And I'm going to go Mimi. And we'll Sunsteel Strike the Wimmy. If a buff cat chops my throat, I'm sure I would not live, let alone breathe. All right, don't sleep powder me, sir. Earth power, we're tanking that. What I tell you? Okay, that's game. All right. I believe Incineroar is technically a tiger. I'm going to Trick Room here just to make the win a little bit safer. And I'm going to Sunsteel Strike this uh, Venusaur. I guess we can Psychic Fangs. Hey, Brian, thanks for the follow. And now we just win by Flare Blitzing. Okay. And the Whimsicott account wasn't Focus Sash, so one would assume the Focus Sash is on this Venusaur. So I'm just going to do this. And that should end it. Awesome. All right, good game. Critical hit. That definitely mattered. I wouldn't have won without that. That crit definitely mattered. All right. Good game, dude. So tonight was a pretty successful stream. I got a lot of wins. I got some losses. Some of my some of my viewers bodied me. Absolutely.